Praise is my passion, most high got me flattered Speaking to my heart the way it's moving through the patterns Remind me of the Sabbath, find a quiet place to rest Read about the sun, blood flowing, there's more than menstrual when I lay the text That mean I'm covered by the blood in case you missed it Anti-secular patterns when my rhymes are full of misfits It's such a delightful truth that I stand on The roar through my ocean breeze take me away like hell gone On high ground with my tags on Bless me from my button up down to the crispy pants that I have on See the sun I take a glance on Present myself a living sacrifice Something I'm glad to take a chance on What's going on my peoples? Welcome to another great conversation I am TV Talks I am D- I'm TV Daily on deck Man, I'm talking to that good brother That good king, Kurt to oh what's good with you man <laughs> uh shalom mark shalom family shalom. all praise man all praise and all praise to the most high to water for having me on I- oh no problem no problem man i've been i know i've been going through changes and everything but i've been wanting to get you on here since the first album man i love salvation <laughs> uh, all praises all praises man all praise and, and, Oh yeah, it is also dope. Look, I saw you at Royal Nation. You you was up there praising. Yeah, uh, for so sure. Was an amazing event. <laughs> for sure, for sure, man. For real. Man, so for starters, can you let the viewers know where you're from? So I'm from Mobile, Alabama. Pritchard, yeah. Alabama. I'm actually down here visiting my family right now. Moving back here in a couple months because I feel like the most high calling me here to do the work here in this area because our people down here, they need some guidance, some direction. It's like a very uh, small amount of Israelites here, so. Cool. That's what's up, man. And how did you begin walking with the Most High? So, I say my, my, my walk, you know, it's been a journey. It's been a, it's been a, it's been a nice little journey because I grew up in the Baptist church. Um, granddad was a pastor, daddy was a deacon. So I was heavily involved in the church. I was on the usher board, in the choir, you know, everything. Um, I would um, grow up in the church, but as I started to get older and start to, you know, gain an identity, I just started to go toward other things, you know. Um, started to get in the middle, like the, say about the seventh or eighth grade, my character started to change a little bit because all I knew from kindergarten to sixth grade, go to school, get good grades, and that was it. But as I started to get around these peers of mine, seven, eight grade, I started to do things that wouldn't, you know, I wasn't raised to do. And so I started to develop different characteristics and different ways of thinking and doing things. Mom and them, you know, mom and dad, they raised me correctly. It just, you know, I got out there and saw something different and I ran with what I saw. But uh, when I, when I started getting into trouble, you know what I'm saying, going to jail, I was going to jail over and over again for things as a as a youth before I was of legal age. Then by the time I hit 18, right after I hit 18, I caught a, a, a charge um, and it sent me to prison boot camp. Man. So, so spiritual being spiritual, um, but I didn't, you know, I didn't understand how important it, it was, you know, and needed that I was I was grounded more in my foundation. So I, I ended up going to prison. And before I went to prison, my child's mother, my daughter's mother passed away. I talk about that on the song Pain on the album. Um, she, you know, she was heavily in Jehovah's Witness, like her family was. She wasn't really like heavy in it, but she used to be. And so when we were talking, that was all she would talk about. So I started, you know, trying to seek it out and see what it was about. And, you know, I, I studied it for a little while, a couple of years or whatever, and eventually found out that that wasn't the truth. And I went away from it and kind of went back into the streets. So certain things I didn't pick back up, like cigarettes or something like that, that I stopped when I got incarcerated. But I still was back into the street, back smoking the weed, back getting drunk, back running to the uh, nightclub, back having sex with multiple women. You know, and I started back on that path of wickedness that I was on full time. And um, during that time, I, I was still being enlightened and I was still seeking knowledge and information because I had a lot of information and knowledge from just seeking on my own. But I continued to grow in knowledge and study. And I realized probably around 2018, 17, that we would Israelites. I actually uh, talked about it in one of the mixtapes when I was still in the world. I, I remixed. Tupac Hail Mary 
and I I was talking about us being the Israelites in that and a lot of people ain't heard that in the truth or nothing. I'll probably bring it back out or remix it or something later. But um it's on a, a, a mixtape called the Street Messiah Mixtape, Volume One. Okay. I did this before the truth because I felt like the most high was placing the calling on me to minister to my people, you know, from the aspect of being in the streets, knowing the streets and trying to say, hey, we gotta change it up. But I'm not in the truth yet. So the most high was letting his spirit, you know, bear witness on me and let me get to the point where I was at, where I'm at now. So, you know, that's kind of how I started to get to the the path of walking in the truth. And then uh, I say around the time, like around COVID, I uh, I opened my own business up because I got fired from my job. I didn't get fired. They, they had to let me go from COVID. They didn't let a lot of people go. You know, um, like right before that, I had hurt my knee or something. I did something to hurt my knee. I had went to the house. I sprained my knee. That's what happened. And so I couldn't work because I was doing like some uh, heavy labor. I was working for like a tree service. And he was like, I can't have you around here dragging your foot like that. Because I was working through it. And he, he was like, nah, you got to go to the hospital. He made me go. And they found out it was a sprain, a sprained knee. And he's like, I can't have you around here like that. Just call me when you get better. By the time I got better and healed, that's when COVID was hitting hard. And he was like, he can't, you know, ain't nobody working. So uh, after that, I started my lawn care business. And around that time, I'm waking up. I'm starting to run into these YouTube videos, brothers out on the streets. Uh, one of the brothers, Chief Ephraim, was, was one of the main ones I saw first. I saw from IUIC. I saw uh, 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 the Bop, Chief J the Bop, Brother the Bop. Um, I started to see running to the car at GMS. And I just started waking up. You know, the most high, just, you know, he gave an increase. To, to me as far as wisdom, knowledge, and knowing I needed to repent. And it was a gradual thing. I started to change things and then eventually I got to the point I'm like, hey, all of this, bro. Put it down and come on into the truth. True that. Man. Well, I'm glad, look, I'm glad that, um, you know, like in the Bible says, I'm glad he, you know, we, he blessed with the ears to hear, the eyes to see. Mm -hmm. You know, when it's our turn to take that walk, we just gotta take it, man. Uh -huh. And it's interesting, <laughs> it's interesting you mentioned um Tupac because before the show, I was listening to the flip you did on changes. On all praise, <laughs> all praise. And I ain't even got that out on no streaming platform. I said I supposed to open my SoundCloud back up. That's a reminder. I appreciate that to open my SoundCloud back up. And then I'll put, you know, that I I probably can go and grab the hell mirror, put that, you know, different yeah. different tracks I did uh beforehand, you uh, know, put that stuff out. Cause changes that probably was the first like truth music song I did. Pain was like the first actual truth music song. Like it was on my own beat and stuff like that. But changes was the first track I did that was I knew who I was. And I'm like trying to wake the people up. But all praise. And that, and that, and it's so crazy because that that uh video went viral, but then Facebook ended up they uh took all my views and everything out that that uh music video and everything later on because I went to professional mode and I didn't realize they was gonna do that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Facebook, man, yeah, they always on some stuff, man. Um, so, man, so I've been knowing you for the past year, and. In the midst of me knowing you, I don't know when Salvation came out, but when I got hold of it, I'm like, oh yeah, this mug is amazing. Like, can you share the concept behind Salvation and, you know, the inspiration? Done, I'll pray. And I, I think I released that in November 23. And uh, I consider it like light work. I, I, I consider it I was playing. Like not planned, <laughs> like you know, but I didn't expose all the talent the most high gave me. I kinda held back on purpose. But uh most everybody that 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 here, they like, man, you they love it. And I'm like, man, y'all ain't heard that yet. But uh, <laughs> salvation, you know, it's it's a journey. You know, it kinda just starts at the beginning of my walk, you know, before I even woke up you know woke up to the truth just the stuff i was going to going through that's why like i talk about my baby mama passing away my grandma and granddad died while i'm in prison and uh you know just continuing to go through the pain i went through which you know we know we all know pain is what actually helps us to be a character 
So all that pain I went through, those experiences, it helped me to continue to grow. And um, you know, second song is Angel. And Angel, I'm I'm speaking about, you know, the testimony of certain things that happened to me because uh, I talk about uh one instance for sure that that happened in the world there was a brother who i did something to i uh i punched him i punched him in the face knocked him out this he, he owed me money i saw him you know saw him at this this park he was passing by punched him in the face knocked him out this that's part of the reason i get the name hurt i was known for fighting knocking folks out but um uh, so when i saw him I, i'm like hey bro you got my money he tried to be kind of sarcastic, like he ain't gonna pay me or whatever. And I, you know, did what I did. He, one of his teeth knocked out of his mouth, right? And um, I talk about in the song, how this guy sees me, and I, I portray it through the video, Angels, where I'm standing at the corner store. It happened exactly like this. I'm standing at the corner store, hustling. And dude pull up to the gas pump. I got somebody in the video pulling up to the gas pump. He said, hey, that's hurt. I'm like, yeah, who that is? I'm like, man, I'm saying to myself in my head, I know this ain't old boy who I knocked out with. I'm like, so my partner with me, Tracy, who died, or uh, who I talk about in pain, he passed away in pain. You know, I talk about him in that train. He was actually with me during this altercation. And so we standing up there and I'm telling Tracy, hey, bro, I think this this, this, this dude I knocked out with baby. Be on point. On what are you on? And uh, so he pulls up. He pull around the side of the store like the dude do do in the video. He get out. He walk up the sidewalk. So I kind of meet him. You know, I walk toward him because I can't make it seem like I got no fear. You know, what I'm saying these the streets. I ain't had no pistol on me because this is a spot where the jump out boys always jump out. And if you got some dope on you, you got gun on you. You messed up. My dope used to be hid on the side of the stove in a uh, potato chip bag. So I'm standing up there clean so I don't get banged. You know what I'm saying? And he walk up, but I had a pocket knife. And so he walk up, we we get in each other's face, same way you see it in the video. We looking eye to eye. And so he he showed that he like he going in his pocket to get ready to pull a gun. And so I'm like, what you doing, bro? And I got my hand in my pocket. I take my left hand over there with my right hand and I snap the pocket knife over. There. So it make a sound. So he think I'm strapped. <laughs> so he get ready to pull the gun. I'm like, put your hand back in your pocket. I say, hey, we can get down. You know what I'm saying? And oh, uh, he put his hand. Like, it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. You strapped. I'm strapped. It's all good. I just want to tell you, I ain't really tripping about this stuff back in the day. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, if if he would have knew, I wasn't really strapped. He probably would try me. But I had that knife ready to poke him if he went too far in that pocket. <laughs> that, that ain't what he thought was gonna happen. But uh, yeah, man, it, it was uh, you know that that's part of, of the journey through our angels. Uh, I also show where I, I crash a car, which this, I crashed my mama car, <laughs> and uh, I was out doing something I had no business doing. I fornicated, and she told me not to go. My tires ain't good on my car, so this is angels. This is track too. But uh, you know. Continuing on. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Please, look, 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 don't don't let that track go real quick, cause matter of fact, that song right there, that was the main reason to me wanting to bring you on the show. Like, bruh, transmission through the dash, really? Not a scratch. My mama oh. didn't, I wish she was I wish she was in the next room. I said, Mama, walk in here real quick and tell them what happened when I had crashed your car into that pole. <laughs> Man. I got out. The folks in the ambulance, they looking at me. They looking at me like, they say, you okay? I'm like, <laughs> I'm good. They're like, you ain't got no no, no cuts, nothing. No, I don't have nothing on me. I'm like, oh my God. They said, man, you got an angel. My mama said the same thing. Boy, you got an angel with you. The car was totally, total. Whole front smashed in. Motor is in the inside. Like, you can see it through the dash. And I'm like, it's crazy. They still, they made me go to the hospital to make sure I ain't have no internal bleeding. Didn't have a thing wrong. Crazy. Cause I, I wanted to, you know, I wanted to share a story with you. It wasn't, it's not about me, but it was about one of my friends back in high school. So see in high school, I was a secular artist and there was this group I was running with, you know, in the neighborhood. 
and I get a call one night. This was December 8th, 2003. And I get a call saying my homeboy been in an accident. And what happened in that situation, the back of the car was hit. Mm. And the trunk split the back of his head open. What? Yeah, so like we was in the hospital for like at least a day and a half. Man, now, even though like my boy, he didn't make it, he didn't survive the crash. Like even though my homeboy didn't survive something like that, like, you know, I'm trying to say it's it's a blessing to hear something like that happen somewhere else, like your situation and you came out of it. Not a scar, not a scratch, no uh, bones, nothing. Ah, uh, for real. Like it, it's it's kind of like it's a stamp on your story, like, like yeah, that's your history. You the crazy thing, crazy yeah, thing. Yeah, I, <laughs> the crazy thing, I got a whole lot of stories like like that, different stuff like that happened throughout my life. My mama always she I done been to court. I put so many different charges and stuff that, man, I'm supposed to be gone, wow. for real, for real. I'm supposed to have distribution. Should have been gone. I'm supposed to have, uh, what else? Shoot the charges I went to prison for. I'm supposed to be gone. I was supposed to be, I was facing 20 years. You know what I'm saying? And I did not, you know, I'm like, I'm taking a trial. And eventually, just end up pleading guilty, but getting a split, you know, getting getting a good, good sentence. But it's a lot of stuff, man. Stuff I didn't get caught for. <laughs> if I got caught, it's over with. My life would have been done. And it just, you know, attests to the most high mercy, you know, because he didn't allow me to get caught up in that stuff to where my life would have been over because he had some plans. But, you know, it's just a reminder. We don't, we don't have no control over this thing. On the real, man, I was going to wait till later in the show to, um, speak on it but when you brought the song up like i had to i had i had to <laughs> i had to extend that one man because that that song really grabbed my attention uh, uh all crazy man so um so anything else you want to add like you know the inspiration behind salvation so yeah like uh and as you continue going the track three i think is keep the laws you know what i'm saying I was it's basically uh expressing my my happiness in and my eagerness to want to keep it law. I just want to keep it law. I just want to keep it law. That's why I have a high energy track. You know, it's just expressing my happiness in doing right. what, what the father wants me to do. Uh okay, track four is uh Prue Jews. That's what Ox Finney is. Finney Gad Israel. And um uh, you know, shoot, finding out who the true is in life, so, you know, that, that's yeah. the motivation behind that and proclaiming it, want to proclaim it, especially when I got people that still watching me that when I was in the world that knew of me. So you're paying attention if I drop something. I got to make sure I'm proclaiming. Uh, thing five is my all. And uh, my all, that's all I want to do is give my all. It's either either my all or lust of the flesh. And uh, eat both of those five and six interchangeable. It's one or the other, the other way. But uh, my all lust of the flesh, lust of the flesh is one that you know I think just people in general need that song because it gives attention and light to anything that we do that we desire to do that just ain't right. But we have just this uh, affinity to want to do it, like get drunk, do drugs, have sex with multiple women. It's just the lust of the flesh and we gotta conquer it. And the most high, you know, the only way we can do that by getting it to him and allowing him to do it for us. Even eat pork and stuff like that. <laughs> it's a lust of the flesh, especially growing up eating that mix. But um, uh, and then last two tracks is what salvation and um what's the other? It's, it's one more track. I can't remember the name of it right now. It's slipping my mind. Love and be loved. That, oh yeah, that one too. That one too. And I had a I had a bonus track on there, uh, which was actually a track I released prior in the world called "One Life to Live." That's the yeah. bonus track. But uh, feel good to love and be loved. Yeah, that 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 track. Me and my wife, 
we shot a video to it, you know what I'm saying? And she she definitely inspired that because it just feel good. And I you know what inspired inspired that track that uh somebody yeah. loves you back. And that's a fact. So yeah, I put that, yeah. that line in there, you know what I'm saying? Kind of put that line in there, alluded to that line so that people that's really like in tune with music could catch it, you know what I'm saying? But uh yeah, uh make a toast. My op uh I could not <laughs> that 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 track there, man, that's like one of my favorite tracks, and I just feel like any Israelite, if they hear it, they will be like, yeah, that's a feast day song. That's who I made that for. That's for Israel to enjoy on their feast. So if you don't have uh make a toast on your playlist, y'all need to get your make a toast on your playlist for real. For real, get that, man. That's definitely like parties, weddings, picnics. Uh, uh. Most needed. <laughs> uh. Man, so um like I was saying, I was I was waiting to this part of the show to talk about angels, but I'm I'm glad we got a chance to <laughs> speak on that. But um it's something I do called music inspiration and I name a few songs and you share what those songs mean to you. Uh. like like this one, like the one you just spoke on, make a toast. Ah, uh, yeah, that one, man. <laughs> man, make a toast. That's you know the inspiration behind that one. Just the joy we get on feast day, coming together with our people, oh. <laughs> being able to eat good, sip good. You know what I'm saying? You, you ain't getting drunk. You ain't being gluttonous either. You're eating good. You're drinking good, and everybody having a good time, man. That's one of the best things. Um. I think in the truth that brothers and sisters should embrace is the coming together and being able to eat and drink, you know, in the name of the Most High God Son, you know, all praise to the Most High forward. For real, man. Never, never a second the assembly. Uh, for real. For real. <laughs> for real. As soon as I heard the beat, I was like, oh, man, he's the <laughs> And it just came on. Man, and there's this. So the next song, there's this other song that you put out. It's amazing, and it's called "Do the Work." Ah, uh, yeah, and that's a single that's on the album "Letter to the Gentiles" featuring my my actual biological sister. Okay. He's not in the truth, but you know she's uh she listens. She she uh she takes heed to some things that I bring out, and she's heard. Uh, but she she definitely did a thing on that track, and I got my niece on the beginning. She's on there talking. That's her daughter. But she's reading oh, the scripture, not talking. She reading the scripture sure. about yeah. Christ uh, coming like a thief in the night. So you know, it's a beautiful thing, man. That song there, like you know, I feel like all of Israel needs to hear that we all got to do the work. We be so caught up in trying to get up out of Babylon. We want to get out of Babylon so bad. But we forgetting there's something necessary for us to do in order to get out of Babylon. We gotta be like ants. We gotta be putting that work in. For sure. Man, in the um the next song is called Ease the Pain. Con, con, con. I like the flip on that too. Con. <laughs> yeah, man, that that uh that track, the brother who produced it, block, block on the beat. He he knows like he just likes to feed me stuff that he know fits with my style because he can hear and know what I'm gonna do with it. He like I got something for you, and he'll just sit it. I'm like, oh my god, you know when I heard that one, I'm like, man, bro, like this track here. I'm like, I'm telling him before. I'm like, man, I'm gonna tear this up. Like I don't even know what I'm gonna write, but I knew it was gonna be hard. Yeah. And um, when you hear it, it's like a story. I may even shoot a completely another a complete another video to it because i did a mic drop video for it but i'm talking about two different uh circumstances about uh this the one that's doing the shooting he's shooting one of his brothers and uh you know i started out with police signs another mama crying the second verse i started out with ambulance signs another mama crying because it's two sides to that coin when we kill each other you got the one that's pulling the gun that kills and go to prison and you got the one that get killed that that end up dead and his family have to deal with them consequences just like the other brother family had to deal with the consequences also so you know that song now is it's just uh it's basically something that 
I look at the community and I see that we face with this is a pain that we have that has to be eased. Only way we can ease it is by coming back to the law, statutes, and commandments. Because we don't know how to love each other until we do that. Man, and the next song is Equal. And I like the Charleston White flip on that one. Uh, <laughs> uh, hey, Charleston be saying some stuff sometimes. Sometimes he say some outrageous stuff. Sometimes he say some stuff against the Israelites. Sometimes he say some stuff that line up with the Israelites say. Hey, but, uh, you know, I'm in Dallas. Like, he was an activist first before he got out yeah. there like he did. <laughs> uh, and, and the thing about it is with Charleston, you know, he say some stuff that can be rough and rugged sometimes. Sometimes us Israelites do too. Sometimes the truth hurts. And mm-hmm. and that song I had, I thought I felt like it was fitting because some of that stuff I'm saying, even Israelites may get offended. Especially because I'm saying we love marrying other races and we don't love each other. But it's Israelites that marry other races of people. You know, and don't think there's nothing wrong with it. But don't understand we're supposed to be getting back to the ancient way of doing things. And the only way we're going to do that is by preferring ourselves over the oppressor. You know, it, it, we're not equal to them. We're above them the way that the Most High said, when we do what we're supposed to do. That's how we get elevated above those people. But other than that, we, we come down very low. So that song, I knew it was certain things I would say that some people going to frown. Even not just Israelites, people of the world, people in Christianity. It's, you know, it is what it is. Man. What I say uh about um uh-huh. step on step on uh you want somebody you wanna kill your brother and uh but that for that crack at the job you'll break your neck. Like that that's how our people do. We will like the smallest little offense, we be so up and on, ready to kill one of our people, ready to counsel them, not deal with them. But then you go to your workplace. White man tell you do something that you don't want to do. You groaning and, and muttering about it, but you gonna do it. And, and make sure you do it to the best of your ability because you don't want to get fired. And it, it's a sad reality. Like, you ain't lying, man. Like one of the comedians I watch, they say, look, we fight each other, but from the real enemy, you run. Uh, <laughs> real, man. Real. Man. So now you about to hit us with something new. Uh, to the Gentiles, man. How did this idea come about? Oh my God. <laughs> Bro, I, I don't even the most high. He gave it to me. I didn't have an idea about the title. I started recording songs for the album way before I got a title. And when the title came, it wasn't long, it was some months ago. When the title came, I was just kind of like, I don't know. I don't know how it came by. It just kind of came to me. And then I started looking at the songs I had. I'm like, it's perfect. Because I'm addressing more so our people that don't know the truth. And I think that's a that's a lost um, thing. That, that's something that gets lost within our community, truth music artists. We don't address our people that don't know the truth enough. Most of the music, it seems geared toward Israelites that are already in the truth. But we got to preach this gospel through the music. This is our ministry. We don't want to just be praising, you know, making praise music for us to wave our hands and just hallelujah. We got to make music that's going to make somebody say, hmm, that sounds like they might be on to something. And that's what I focused on with Letter to the Gentiles. It's actually... It's uh, framed like a letter in general, from beginning to end, seven different parts. And so I break it down by when when a part finishes, I say, hey, this is this was well at the beginning. I say this was the uh, head, you know, and then I get into the first part, the opening. And after the opening, I say, hey, this is we're going into the, you know, the body and I explain what the body going to consist of and, and so on and so forth. So yeah. it's, it's one of them albums you have to listen to it from the beginning. You can't skip nothing. You, you can't um, cut off the song too fast because there may be something at the end to bring in the next song. 
So yeah, it's it's gonna be something else. It's it's a journey. And I think everybody gonna really appreciate this this uh album for real. That's what's up, man. Cause I ain't gonna lie to you, the salvation was that type of album too. You put it on, don't mess with it. Uh, all <laughs> praise, all praise. Man, so besides the letters to the Gentiles, what what's next? Like, what more can we expect from her to us? Well, um, I know uh, this this may air after the fact of the, the music review. I don't know, maybe not uh, the album review. The album review we're doing this Sunday. Um, Brother Zamron is uh with uh Genesis. He's doing it, and um, we're gonna do it on Facebook, YouTube. So after the album is actually released, um, I think the next thing I got going is with Oxyraya and Ocondo in Mississippi for the fourth in Mississippi. Yeah. yeah, so that's gonna be that's gonna be nice, I believe. That's gonna be nice. I, I was with them last year, man, and really enjoyed myself. That's how I met those brothers. I met Sister Charmin, I met Sister Leah, I met Brother Sefer and Sister Song Sefer. Um who else? I met I met quite a bit of people for the first time at the uh, festival last year, so it definitely was a blessing to be there last year. I, I met a uh, brother with uh, Memphis Mac- Maccabees. Um, I remember brother name start with an X. I don't know how it's uh, Shakar. Met Shakar there. Um, I think I met brother uh, Solomon. Yep, met brother Solomon there last year too. Yep, I met a lot of people for the first time there. So yeah, all praises, man. Uh, other than that, what I got? Uh, I think I'm kind of kind of gonna chill out for a little minute. Something something gonna come up. <laughs> Eventually, something something gonna come up. But I'm gonna try to chill out and not do too much and kind of take a break and rest a little bit because I'm, I still never rest because every Tuesday and Thursdays I'm doing lessons putting stuff together i all okay that's the best one i got something i'm putting together based on a documentary that i watch and it's gonna be a big deal when i put this together because it's gonna be something that potentially can help more of our people understand the truth and understand that they're israelites so i'm gonna make it like a big presentation and i'm gonna have some of my brothers and sisters send out invites because i'm gonna do a facebook event it's gonna stream on YouTube and Facebook, but I'm gonna do a Facebook event. I'm gonna plan it kind of like a month out. I actually was just doing that before we got sat down for the interview. I was kind of going over the documentary, making some notes, but it's gonna be a nice presentation when I get through through with it. So that's probably in the next month or so. So that's gonna be something. But uh, other than that, I got some planned for after the, the uh, album. I got some I'm, I'm already I got in the works that I'm about to do too. It's gonna be different. That's all I'm gonna say. I ain't gonna say too much about it. It's gonna be different, and everybody gonna like it. The first, the first thing I bring got gonna really blow everybody. Cause I already started on it, but it, it's something else. I can't, I can't speak too much on it. But when you see it, you gonna be like, "That's what you talking about." <laughs> <laughs> Man, and earlier I mentioned, you know, we had a chance to meet at Royal Nation. Like, how how did you get um? Locked in with Royal Nation. I um uh, I reached out to Sister Petra because I think they had something going on. I was like, let me reach out to the sister. I think because I know I'm fairly new in the truth music scene, so people don't really know of me. You know what I'm saying? So I reached out to her. She was like, well, I, right now, you know, I think it's it's kind of we filled up with artists, and I understood that because it was kind of late in the game when I reached out to her. They pretty much had the event squared away, and she hit me back. And she was like, hey, I. You still want to try to come down? I'm like, yes, I'll praise it. <laughs> and so she didn't even know at that time I was getting ready to bring my wine out to Ty Roche. And uh, it was just the perfect opportunity. She, she was like, <laughs> right. She's like, every artist get a vendor table because I thought I had to pay for one. She's like, no. And so that that event ended up being a real blessing. I got to meet a lot of people that I, I hadn't met before, except online, um, brothers that I really was close with. Uh, Ock. Zamron, Ock Phineas. I think I had already, I had already met Yurt and met, uh, I, had, I think I had been met Canal a while ago, but I had already met Yurt um, in Memphis with the Maccabees for their event. 
but I had met Phineas and um, Zamron for the first time. Me and them brothers, you know, we were real cool before we ever even met each other. So it was just an awesome time to be able to get together with them brothers and with the other brethren and sisters, man. All praise to the most high for For sure. Yeah, man, can you share about the wine? Cause yeah, you got the wine <laughs> popping on. <off. laughs> uh, all praise, yeah, man. That's, it's 13% alcohol. And uh, the flavors are, hey, it's semi-sweet. It's got that, it got that strong kick to it, but it got a good fruity taste. So it's, it's that addictive type of wine that makes you just want to keep sipping on. <laughs> <laughs> you got to practice uh, self-control. <laughs> right. Yeah, man. man. Yeah, oh, and another thing I wanted to ask about the album, when is it coming out and where can people find it? 9-11, 2024, and it's gonna be on all platforms. And I'm encouraging <laughs> 9 11. And, and the reason I, I'm releasing it on 9 11 is for a couple reasons because it's a 911. Our people need help, 911. And yes. then 9 11, because of the deception that America, Babylon the Great, has has done, you know, you know, to our people, they didn't speed us into believing so many things. And that event is one of them. That they 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 oh, uh yeah. you know perpetrated like it happened and said these people did it when they actually did it inside y'all. But the same thing with us in, in these institutions, these religions that we're part of, that we've been deceived into believing that this stuff is the right way. And if we don't actually wake up and pay attention to the signs around us, we're just gonna continue to be deceived till we get destroyed, like the buildings. Yeah, that is true, though. Uh huh. A lot of stuff folks need to wake up to man and that like, that's why um you know that's why i'm glad to be in this true it's a lot of stuff i had to unlearn as i <laughs> grew in it so i'm uh, and still yeah. learning we we all still learning we need to be anyway i mean that's why i said on uh, a minute ago i'm glad we got the ears to hear uh, dope. but um man Look, thank you once again, man. It was it was amazing for sure, talking with you, man. <laughs> God, for sure, man. For sure. For man. sure. Man. So I can't wait to um, you know, hear letters letters to the Gentiles. Um for, to everybody that's watching and listening, man, be sure to go and cop that and uh, go back and hear salvation as well, man. It's an amazing um, project. <laughs> for sure. And, and that letter to the Gentiles, I want I want it, you know. I want to try to get y'all, encourage y'all to don't just stream it. You can stream it. That's fine. <laughs> Go buy it from Amazon or iTunes because it's worth it. It's uh, 16 tracks, but it's a bonus track on it all. So Ease the Pain featuring Roy the Shelf and Faith in Israel. But it's definitely worth buying. And y'all can start, y'all can stream it first, but buy it afterwards. You don't want to buy it afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up, man. Uh, we, well, with that being said, man, we finna check out and get into to some more of this righteous music. Uh, uh, your music, most uh, definitely. All praise. <laughs> man, it's your friendly neighborhood DJ, J.U.L. Judah, signing out with her 2 Oh, Just want to say much love. Continue the most high. Love each other and love yourselves. Take care, y'all. Shalom. Uh, shalom. <laughs> How can I can I use the pain? How can I, how can I, how can I, how can I, can I, can I use the pain? Gotta use the pain, man. Gotta use the pain. Gotta use the pain, man. Ambulance sign, another mama crying. Shots fired, another man dying. He got son that he left behind. So who gon' care for that man child? A vicious cycle getting carried out. We love playing it, but the game fire. Look at the score, we getting blown out. All the pain experience got us traumatized. The important gets minimized. And our children get penalized. It's like we don't wanna realize that the time for a change is right now. We gotta turn to the most high. Scripture got the answers that we can't find. This is time to get revitalized. Before we send his son back and we out of time. How can I? Police sign, 
mama crying Her son don't wanna lay that man down Jumped in that water and he got drowned He can't take it back, he gotta do the time For a lot of family members, he the one provide So the effect gon' trickle down But he ain't think about that at that time That lifestyle come with a one-track mind All we know is live a life of crime Cause that's what get popularized Pop culture is getting toward our demise And we just act deaf, dumb, and play blind I know I can't change the world, at least I'm trying My people live Everything that you're saying has some truth to it. It's just the, the delivery. You oh. standing, there's no denying that you're standing for and by your people. Well, here's the thing. Uh, when you're addressing evil, you can't worry about the delivery. When you're looking at the conditions of our community, you can't worry about the evil when you got kids that kill kids and say, we smoking on Tuca.
I know it had to be the angels of the Lord that kept around me. It had to be. I know it had to be the angels of the Lord that kept around me. It had to be. I know it had to be the angels of the Lord that kept around me. It had to be. I know it had to be the angels of the Lord that kept around me. It had to be. I know it had to be. When I repented, I know the angels rejoiced. I, I was living in wickedness and was sinning by choice. A lot of things in my past I don't like to speak on, but believe me, it was more than just hanging on street corners. Really? Fixated on my flesh, cause, cause my, my mindset was carnal. If it wasn't for his grace, man, man I could have been a goner. I was facing 20 years, told him take it to trial. With no intentions of telling, just take my lick with a smile. My lawyer was able to get me a 15 split three. I took it cause my code of he snitched and lied on me Got so much that I could tell you that you wouldn't believe If I got caught, them crackers could've threw the book at me I just know for a fact, his angels walking with me Cause now I do the work, work. Yeah, how we using me Preserve me for his purpose, yeah, he had plans he for had me plans So for me dying in sin wasn't in his plans for me plans for The me. angels of the Lord, they camped around me It had to be, I know it had to be the angels of the Lord encamped around me. It had to be. I know it had to be. The angels of the Lord encamped around me. It had to be. I know it had to be. The angels of the Lord encamped around me. It had to be. I know it had to be. Ain't no free will, it's all predestinated From every death to every child brought forth through copulation From the spouse that you choose to your current occupation You either receive mercy or your heart was indignation I can recollect on times that I could have been dead Caught lacking, no strap, I had a knife instead 
Yeah. Played it cool, he wanted to kill me for how I used to move. To Had to match his energy, betrayed it, I was strapped too. But inside, I'm praying to God, hoping he don't shoot. He don't Still shoot. I'm whooping, telling him I know what he won't what do. He the won't most high, the only one that, that get the praise for delivery. If it was in his will, it could've went a little different. I think about the time I wrapped the car around the pole. The paramedic was like, man, you should've been gone. All this crazy stuff, dawg. Everything I was doing, kicking doors, robbing, shootouts, selling dope, I know it could have led to my death. I should have been gone. The cat at the stove, I remember him and what I did to him back in the day. Now he done caught me slipping. Now look at this. I done wrecked the car. The motor came through the dash. I wasn't supposed to survive this. I supposed to be dead, but I'm here. Motor came through the dash from the impact of the crash. Mama say I had an angel with me, I ain't have a scratch. The angels of the Lord encamped around me. It had to be, I know it had to be. The angels of the Lord encamped around me. It had to be, I know it had to be. The angels of the Lord encamped around me. It had to be, I know it had to be. The angels of the Lord encamped around me. Who disciples the dope boys? Huh? These sermons get wheels turning like chauffeurs or Uber drivers. I've been inspired by Obadiah to bring the truth in the game full of open liars. I'm in the lines then, don't need a violin. Ain't no sad song, this a big win. Shh. Mufasa still sleeping Landed on my feet when they threw me off the deep end See walking how I be walking Bruce Banner how they be hawking for the green But ain't beans talking I stand firm my boy, this ain't no lean talking About face, get on my face when my king talking Pass over the street, shepherd the flock Real estate and stocks, reinvest in the block Yeah, rain or drought, I keep on serving Giants better duck, the slingshot still working Never wanna work another job in my life, yo The key to success is the happiness inside So gotta get up early if you wanna get the ride Preparation and drive, let the ruach be your guide Put positive pictures up, visualize it first Rid yourself of negativity, it'll put you in a hearse Keep your thirst, expand on your wild ideas Get some flies out, girl, you can't be scared out here Most of us hinder ourselves because we lack We in a conversation that'll put us on track And said we gave into the fears and insecurities Doubts, obstacles, and all the possibilities of being more than what we ever dreamed Let them doors fly open as you imagine your self-esteem Higher, stronger, best player on the roster Being better because it is in you to prosper Well, this is joy on the track My sis and I are back Whether we shop or we flat drive We don't lack, strike a match We blaze in the dark, creatively spark Music with heart, I know you love in these bars Real people and like most of these are See, when we get together, it's like magic on Mars Bring it back, melodies that don't exist on the charts And here we are, reviving a lost art Beautiful musical cantata Thankful for the gift that he gave to his two daughters Hot like lava Regardless of the trauma in the aqua toasting Pina colada All the powers is ours We devour the cowards Standing strong like a tower Nor the day nor the hour His return is for certain Better sure up your worship Better plan out your purpose Cause your life has been purchased I walk in blessings not curses Yep I represent Torah See my king is Yahusha Yep and he goes before us Taking down all our enemies who mistake our identity In the place of the dynasties where he placed us on peace